Hey guys, welcome back. So, it is a Sunday, Sunday morning, emergency rush job, of course. So this is what we got here. This is a pump or motor that goes on a, uh, well, you can see how this works. That's like an offset shaft. And that spins really fast and it goes up and down on a diaphragm pump it sits right here i'll send you the picture that or I'll, sh I'll show you the picture the customer sent me It'll make a little bit more sense they have broken all these mounts off here So we got to add about three and a half inches here and then add, add some bolt holes. That one, that one has survived. Everything else is broken. But luckily I have the edge of this hole and the edge of that hole to get my straight back um, center to center on the bolts. So that'll be, that'll be easy as far as that goes. Um, this is one inch thick. I'm trying to figure out what material to use. It's a Sunday. I don't have a whole lot of time or anything. I had some three quarter. Doesn't quite. I don't like the way that looks. So we're probably going to cut this big piece down. We'll cut some one inch strips out of it. And then that'll give us our, our pieces. We'll get all this ground and beveled back, you know, bevel everything, tack it together, preheat it, weld it all out, and then probably drill the hole afterwards. That way I can get it the center to center exactly correct. And then hopefully get it back over there. All right, well, that's the, that's the plan. Let's uh, put this in the bandsaw and cut some pieces off. It's a pretty good cut. It's not bad for a bandsaw. It's pretty flat. The blade's probably not even perfect. That's a different style. I think that was cut with a carbide tooth blade. All right. Now, now that we have that, all right, now that we have that, we got a make it fit in there. Still just a little bit too wide, so we'll have to trim, trim that down there. Le leftover piece will go right there. All right, let's see here. Thinking we might try to set that up and 
that saw right there. Okay, we got our piece marked out. That's the piece we want. We'll probably utilize that piece for over here. And then all of that will be our drop piece. We're gonna, probably gonna cut that, like I said, we're gonna cut that with uh, that chop saw. But I just wanted to show you kind of how I marked that out. Before I cut it, you can see underneath of it, it's got that lip, basically inch and a half by one inch. Perfect. All right, we'll get this other one all chopped up, do it the same way, and then um, bring you back for the next step. Okay, we got it flipped over. So we're gonna prep this area to accept this in here, bevel this. I'm not sure what side I'm gonna weld it on yet. If I'm gonna do two bevels or one bevel or, or what yet. So we're gonna start cleaning this up. Common question that gets asked, do I charge extra for cleaning? Well. I don't charge a cleaning fee, it just my hourly rate, whatever it takes. Now I'm gonna come in here and wire wheel all this, you know, oily dirt and whatever off of there. Got a stainless wire wheel already set up for another job I was doing. So just wire wheel and just clean up everything. So there's no extra fee, it's just my hourly rate, however long it takes to clean it. All right, I'll get the sucker cleaned up now. Three M Cubitron. about I don't know less than a minute we got all that cleaned up you can see that's already a pretty good bevel we'll bevel this a little bit but I mean technically that's enough to get in there as it is we'll bevel that one a little bit okay we'll do the same thing to that side now
All right, so after thinking about it, I think I'm going to kind of get everything set up like this, and then I am gonna drill my hole in this in my drill press. My milling machine is down. That's why I have this rotary phase converter. Get rid of all the other junk that some other experienced electrician installed, and he ended up burning up my motor in my mill. I just spent $2,000 on a new one. Anyways, mill is down, the drill press works. So we're gonna mark this out and we'll use a drill press to drill that. And you know, it's pretty thick, one inch. I'd like the hole to be straight versus trying to drill it by hand. So we'll, we'll just use a drill press. We'll do that to both sides, get them drilled out and then uh, get her welded up. You can see that nice, nice V groove right there leave a little gap on the top so we can put a weld. All that will be 100% welded. There'll be no gaps in there. All right, let's get to drilling. All right, now we have our X for both pieces. I labeled them A and B, so I won't get them mixed up. And uh, yeah, now we'll drill a 13 16 hole for a 5 8 bolt. I'm going off of what the existing hole size is. All right, we are ready to weld these two sides on. We're gonna use the Arc Captain TIG 200 on AC, 100% argon. I am gonna preheat this first because it's really thick. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get to it. Use some eighth inch 53, 56 rods and uh, get to welding here. We got it clamped down. Gonna put a weld over the top here and hopefully it will stay, but I can also clamp it when I flip it over. My weld that groove out. All right, let's get to it.
Almost got it. We'll put some more on the back side there. All right, got that one. Got it all welded out. Got the welds up high. You know, got it higher than all the corners. So hopefully we'll let it cool off. Then we can blend all that in and hopefully it looks like it never happened. All right, now we're gonna do this side. Seemed like I'm having a little bit of gas coverage issue. So I took off the the cup and everything that came with the Arc Captain. It's a very common style that comes with all TIG machines, including Miller. It comes with that exact style. I think it's like a number seven. I put on a Furic cup. The gas coverage on this is just way better. So we'll see if that makes a difference.
Well, it seems a little bit better. As far as uh, the, the gas coverage, a little bit better. Had a little issue there in the beginning, but that'll clean up. All right, so for this other deal, that's what I got. So we'll we'll get both sides of that welded up and then we could just follow that same edge of that hole down there to drill that out. We got those other two, kind of wait for them to cool off before we can really sand on that. So we're gonna weld this out now. Okay, we got that all welded in. We'll let this cool off and go eat some lunch. One thing I want to point out is pretty much for the entire welding process on that, I was full pedal, full throttle, maxing that machine out 200 amps. Did not stop, did not trip a breaker, running off of a 50 amp breaker, did not, did not quit and it kept same current everything that's actually been a pretty good pretty good tig machine all right we'll be back after this cools off a little bit <laughs> all right it's been about hour and that's like crazy how hot aluminum stays i could barely barely touch it like it's borderline it's probably about 140 150 degrees still all right <clears throat> let's get this all blended in and go return it All right, got it smoothed out. I think that'll work. <clears throat> doesn't look like it's, uh, doesn't look like it's broken anymore. So now we'll just get that hole sorted and I'll probably paint the base of it white. He did ask if I could make this look like it never happened. So I think we might be able to achieve that. And then real quick, straight edge. Looks pretty good. This is the only surface that's really somewhat critical because it does sit on a bracket and it does bolt down to that flat. I think everything else is kind of whatever. 
as long as the bolts fit and that's flat, you're good to go. All right, now we're gonna do that hole. It's off just a tiny bit, but I think I think that is good to, good to go. Okay, let's wipe it down. A little paint should be done. Well, it's kind of ugly without cleaning the whole thing, but it is back together and it will be covered in all whatever that is, probably within a couple days. It looks a little bit sketchy, but that's how I got it. So I'm sure they have a new one of those probably. Well, that's it. I'm gonna let this dry for 20 minutes and take it back over there. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.